We just need to measure this line. We need to measure this line. All right, but unfortunately, unable to measure this. So if this is nine, I'm trying to speculate. This side looks longer than this one. My speculation is that I cannot assume. So all you need to do is measure the red line to get PQ. All right, measure the red line. All right, measure the red line. So to get PQ, you need to just measure the red line. All right, measure that red line right there. All right, so looking at this diagram, let's zoom it out and try to measure it. So we're gonna measure this red line. All right, we're gonna measure that red line. So I'm looking at it on the screen and my measurement is giving me two centimeters, all right? So I'm getting two centimeters. So you need to measure the red line, of course. So from my measurement measuring the screen, I'm getting two centimeters. I'm gonna put two centimeters here in bracket because it may not necessarily be accurate. All right, because I don't have the exact paper in my hand. And so remember this is, I'm looking at the screen. It might be a magnified view of the paper or a reduced view of the paper. And so mine is not so much accurate. So my measurement is two centimeter. All right, so that's why I put measure your red line. And it says, determine the scale of the drawing. Determine the scale. Now, to determine the scale, there are many ways you can do that. You can look at this side right here, all right? This is nine meter, which is KL. If you measure KL, when I measure KL on my screen, all right, I'm getting two centimeters as well. I'm getting that KL is two centimeters. So what I'm getting then is that two centimeters corresponds to, two centimeters corresponds to nine meter. Two centimeter is corresponding to nine meters. And so one centimeter is corresponding to 4.5 meter, all right? And so reality, the scale is one centimeter is 450. That's in centimeters, all right? That's the scale. One centimeter corresponds to 450 centimeters. Then it says calculate the actual area of the face of L, M, N, P, K, all right? So now, what we just found is that this length P, Q, two centimeter is therefore nine meters, all right? And K, Q is nine meters. So we can find the area of the triangle using half base times height, and then we have the area of the rectangle. And so the actual area is gonna be area of the face. I'm gonna call F for face. Area of the face is gonna be equal to area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle. And it's two triangles that are similar, all right? So I'm gonna write plus two times the area of the triangle, all right? That's gonna give us the area of the face, 
Now the area of the rectangle is length times width. So let's work that out. That's going to be equal to length times width. So it's going to be 18 times 9. 18 times 9 plus 2 times 2 times area of the triangle. And area of triangle is half base times height. So it's 2 times a half the base. And the base is 9 times the height of 9. So when we work that out, what are we getting? 18 times 9 is 162 plus 2 times a half times 9 times 9. That's 81. So 162 plus 81. And that's going to give me 243. And so that's the actual area, 243 meters square. Two hundred and forty three meters square. That's the actual area. Now, part B. Part B says the diagram below, not joint to scale, shows the, the plan of a swimming pool in the shape of a rectangle and two semicircles. It says a rectangle has dimension eight meters by three by five. Okay, so if, 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 if you were to separate it, like this is where the semicircle starts, all right? This is one semicircle, this is another semicircle from A to E. So those are the two semicircles. Now it says state the length of the diameter of semi semicircle AFE. So the diameter is just gonna be the 3.5. So the diameter is 3.5 meters. It says calculate the perimeter of the swimming pool. The perimeter of the swimming pool is the total distance around. So what we need to do is find, we already know this distance down here is eight meters. And this distance here is eight meters, but we need this distance going around. We need this distance going around. So we need those two. Now it's easy to find these two. How do we find this distance? Well, if you recall formula for perimeter of circular, as we know it's circumference. Perimeter of a circle is two pi r. All right, perimeter of a circle is two pi r. But this is not a circle, this is a half a circle. But we have half a circle and another half a circle which makes a complete circle. So the, so the distance of AFE plus the distance of BCD is two pi R, all right? We're taking pi as 22 over seven. So it's two times pi. And let me write perimeter of the two semicircle. C stands for the perimeter of the two semicircle. And the radius, the radius is 3.5 divided by two. So that's 1.75. So when we work it out, the distance going around is going to be two times 1.75 times 22 over seven. And that's 11. The perimeter going around is 11. All right, that's the perimeter going around. Now, the next issue is that they want us to find now the total perimeter of the swimming pool. So I'm going to call that PS or perimeter of swimming pool. The perimeter of the swimming pool is going to be equal to, now if this side and this side together is 11, then the total perimeter around the swimming pool is going to be 11 plus 2 times 8. So that add all four sides in it. And so the perimeter of the swimming pool is 27 meters. So this is a very small swimming pool. 27 meters, that's, that's the length of a cricket pitch is 20 meters. And so this is 
a small swimming pool.